Men text less and women text more. Why? Why women expect men to respond immediately and women overthink, overanalyze the texts? Um, a couple of things. <laughs> Such a great question. Uh, women, it, so it's so first you have the foundation of words, right? So uh, men tend to use less words until they get uh, older and their brains reconfigure, and that's when their wisdom comes pouring out. Uh, women use a lot of words uh, for a couple of reasons. One is it's a it's a there are many many survival instincts involved in the use of our words. Um, it's a whole section in our Understanding Women course, uh, but we we use words to connect with, which makes us feel safe. Uh, we are compelled to be accurate to the degree that we're going to reveal ourselves. We're going to be accurate. Uh, if you ask us how are you, we uh, we think we need to report on every part that makes up me. So what is my how am I physically, mentally, emotionally, my environment, how am I experiencing the current moment, maybe the 30-year history of the current moment, lots of words. Um, why women expect an immediate response? Uh, again, illogical, unrealistic, probably because they're hooked to their phone in a way that they, it's hard to imagine other people aren't. You put it away? Well, yeah, I wanted to focus. Focus, what's that? <laughs> um, a lot of women don't know how much someone in hunting mode needs to focus and naturally focuses and screens everything out. Uh, they don't know that until they do our understanding men course. Um, so it seems personal, like you you intended to ignore me. Um, another thing to know about women texting and expecting a response is we have a hormonal response to the written word. Um, it, it's actually bonding, and um, and there's sort of a like a biofeedback thing. So um, there was a man who I texted, and he responded immediately, and and he like swore like he did not want to be in a relationship ever, but every time I texted, he responded immediately. Which to a woman, that is relationship behavior. That kind of attentiveness is relationship behavior. And when I spoke to him about it, like, look, you really don't need to text me right back. And he's, you know, why do you do that? And he says, well, it's, it's polite. So to him, it was just polite to text right back, even though he didn't want to text back right back. He didn't want to be texted as often as he was. He didn't want a relationship, and he accused me of trying to make him have a relationship no i was just communicating so um one of the things i really encourage everybody to do is in the beginning of any kind of romantic possibility even just a new friend talk about texting what do you need do you turn your phone off at night or or I wake up in the middle of the night, can I text you? And if I send it, will it bother you? Or is that okay? Um, many people's phones have the ability for audio texts. And one of the things that, I'm, that I teach women has to do with that so research has shown that men process women's voices in the same part of their brain as music. So a man is much more affected Theoretically, a man is much more affected by a woman's voice than he is by the written word. Now, depending on how he learns, depending on how he learns, the voice will affect him. Like it could be comforting, but that doesn't mean he's going to retain all of it, right? So we get, we have to negotiate. We have to kind of find out, okay, how do you best retain information? How do you, um, how often, like are you making any commitment to by when you'll text me back? Um, I'll text you back within 24 hours. If you can't live with that, then we shouldn't go any further here. If you're gonna take that personally, we can't go any further. I'm extremely focused all day long and then I will do all my texting at once, for example. Um, I have a friend who, he did me the biggest favor. He just told me that 
when there's a whole lot of words in a row, like a big paragraph, that is brain short circuits. And so I started texting and making a space between each section. So there'd be like maybe two sentences, sometimes just one sentence. Boom, 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 boom. And I asked him how that worked for him. He said it was wonderful. Like I could communicate so much by text and he would get it and respond to it and retain it because I made those spaces. Now that was easy for me to understand because my mind works the same way. Um, so to avoid this thing that people are gonna do and everybody's gonna be different. So please don't just take it along gender lines, really look at you, what do you need? And, um, whether it's hours of the day or expectations about returning um, messages. The man that, that I'm involved with, we communicate a lot by emojis. That's how we connect or express affection during busy days. It's just a, it's just a hug. And it's wonderful, just a hug. Um, Sometimes I'll ask for a voice text. I'd love to hear your voice. And so I'll get a voice text. And one of the best things about those, ah, this is telling me. Ha ha! <laughs> um, I set an alarm to be sure to do um, no healing before I had to go to my next call. So I know that sounds terrible, but I did it on purpose so that I wouldn't forget because I get really involved in answering your questions. There's something I was saying. It's funny, I just got a high. Like, hi, <laughs> I'm a girl, so of course I'm having a lot of oxytocin in response to a man that I like saying hi. Such a girl. <sighs> Isn't that funny? So, um, so you just got to see the effect of a text on a woman. I just, I just demonstrated what happened. I turn off the alarm and I see a hi, and I, and I'm this girl. Isn't that funny? Grown woman, <sighs> still a girl. <laughs>